so hello guys welcome to the second video of assignment number one b so in the first video we have done the registration form and login form with the help of html and css now we'll use two languages that is xml and xslt so here you have to first create an xml file with all the registration form data so whatever parameters you are using in your registration form that all the data you are going to store here in xml file and after that you have to create an xslt file and through that xslt file you have to access your xml file once you have the data you have to access from the xml file so we'll later on we'll discuss about the structure of xslt code where we are going to write the xslt code okay so now i will create a student.xml files already i have created a student.xml file so you know that the every xml file is starting with the prolog statement so how to write prolog statement just write uh, less than uh, less than and then question mark symbol xml then provide specify the version that is 1.0 xml is having only one version that is 1.0 and encoding is equal to utf hash eat in question mark and then close after that uh, you know that uh, it is mandatory to use a root element in xml file so every xml file or xml code should have must have a root element so as you know that xml allows user defined tags so here you have to define a user defined tag which should be re relevant to the registration form so as i'm using a student registration form here i will use a college root element inside this college root element i'll create a student element so inside this student element i will use my all the parameters that is username so I'll write here rakesh kumar i will write here rakesh username rakesh 11 i will use then i will use the password i have my the password field there so i'll use here a rakesh one two three this is this data i will store here then after that i will use a first name Field. so there i will write rakesh then i have in the last name field there so i'll write rakesh kumar sorry so here rakesh kumar then after that there is a field that is gender so here i'll write mail after that there is the email field so in email i will write rakesh Kumar at the rate gmail.com. So then there is a gender field, so I'll use gender tag here. Sorry, there is a course, so I'll write here course inside this. I'll write se comp comp. Then the final is mobile number. So I'll define your mobile number field so one two three four five six seven eight nine zero so these are the fields uh, used in my in the registration form that i'm using here the same thing i will do here again i'll copy and paste this for student data okay i'll insert other student data now so right here manish I'll write here Manish123. I'll write here Manish. I'll write here Manish Kumar. Same thing I will repeat here. So there I am repeating. I will replace this email. Okay, so Manish e comp and nine nine eight Okay. So this way i have written the xml file here you can see that everywhere i have written return the user defined tags only now we have to create a xsl file that is xslt code we have to write there so i have already created a student.xsl file so here again you have to write first statement that is xml code of statement so i'll write here xml version equal to 1.0 so encoding is equal to utf dash eight question mark and then greater than symbol now here you to start your access uh, x xslt code with xsl colon style sheet tag okay so this will be your first root element in 
XSLT code that is XSL colon style sheet because as it is a style sheet file. But here you have to provide a, a version. So I'll provide the version is equal to 1.0. I'll provide uh, XML namespace path that is HTTP www.w3.org slash 1999 then XSL then transform transform okay so after this inside XSL uh, style sheet tag or element you have to again you have to again other tag that is template this element you have to use and in this element XSL colon template you have to write uh, an attribute that is match equal to forward slash so why to use forward slash because we have to start our XML conversion because XSLT converts your this XML file into HTML output so I'll start my conversion from this root element so because of that here I'm writing here this forward slash that represents I have to start my templating I'm creating a template from this root element so inside this you can use your HTML tag now so I'm using HTML tags I will use my HTML tags here so inside this I'll create a table so for this table I will set the border that is one and inside this table I will define a, a row and inside this I'll use a table header so first table header I will use is username then in the second table uh, table header I will use password then third table header I will use that is first name then fourth I will use last name then after that I am having a gender so then I am having an email then I am having a, a course then finally I am having a mobile number so this I have define here and then I want second row okay second and third row because I am having a two students data in my XML file so for that purpose here you have to use again XSL colon for each so this tag you have to use to access your two rows of XML file because it is having one or more than one rows so here for each loop you have to use so this way you can implement for each loop in XSLT that is XSL colon for dash each so here you have to use select you have to select your path or you have to select your element now so in my access xml file uh, how, uh, what is x path i will explain so in my xml file i have defined my college element inside this college element i have defined student element inside this student i have defined username password this element so to access this username i am going through first i'm going in college then i'm going in student and then i'm going for accessing username so this navigation is called as x path this whole path of accessing this element username is called as the x path so here i have to access the student element of college okay root element so right here college slash student now inside this i'll go for tr tag because i want to create two rows uh, and then i'll go for td tag so here in td tag i will use again a ssl colon value of tag and there i will select my first field that is username okay so this way i have written the code for accessing username now i want to access the username value so how can i access just use xsl colon value dash of this tag you have to use then with the help of select attribute you have to select your uh, uh, element of your xml file so i have to access username so i will write here username then i'll copy i'll write td i'll write again td okay here I'll again write XSL colon value of then select is equal to password. Okay, so just I will write two, two or three. Okay, so 
so I'll copy it again okay now I'll copy this code so that we will just replace the attributes values so now when I will post first name okay then last name okay then I have to use email sorry gender then I have to use email then I have to use after email there is a course and then I have to use this mobile number so I write mobile number so these are all the tag names that should be from your XML whatever the uh, tag names you use in your XML file that same tag name tag name should be here okay so uh, while writing this tag name be careful refer your XML file now after this After this, we have to connect this file. This is X, X, uh, this is XSL file. So you have to connect your XSL file with your XML file now. File now. So I'll connect my this XSLT file with my XML code. So I'll go in my XML file, and here after this prolog statement, I will write other statement. Okay. So another statement where I will write XML dash style sheet okay so here i'll write type or i'll write here right here type is equal to text slash xsl natural is equal to the path of my file that is the name of my file is student.xsl so here i have connected i have linked my uh, XSLD file here with the help of XML dash style sheet statement. So I have provided the type that is XSL and then the path is student.xsl. Now we will try to run this file. We will go to my directory. So OTOT very, very good. Here I am having a student.xml file. So I will open it with browser okay done so now you can see that what are the data i have stored in my in my xml file now it is accessed here and it is showed it is displayed in an html format so this way you can use your xslt and xml now we'll connect our xml file with our login form now now that I will do here. So I'm having a login.html file. I'll open this login.html file with my brackets editor. So login.html. So here in this login.html, I have to go in form tag, in form tag, there is action attribute. Here I will just specify my name that is student.xml. Then this you can do with the help of JavaScript also, but I'm not going to explain that right now because you're having JavaScript in second assignment. So here just link your student.xml file with your action attribute now. So I'll do now one thing that I will do here that is I will open my login.html file now. Now see this is my login.html file. I'll just click on login button. So whenever I click on login button it is going to access my student.xml file and the student.xml file is going to be converted into HTML output with the help of XSLT file. Okay, so this is about your assignment number one B where 
we have developed an application that is login or register application or login and registration application we are we have def uh, designed a registration form and login form then we have uh, we have implemented the xml also here with the help of xml we have stored our all the data in a xml file and with the help of xslt we have converted that xml code that xml data we have transported into uh, an html file so hope so you understood this assignment so if you have any any uh, doubt uh, regarding this assignment just post your comments and don't forget to subscribe my channel so thank you for watching my video bye bye